Okay, so remember, let us see this question and this, this ones are going to be added to all things, but please keep up. So this one says, storm left home right with a speed of 70 kilometers. Two hours later, Bob left the same home right in around the same road at 10 kilometers per hour. Touch it, time, how long will it take Bob to cut Tom? How far will Bob travel to cut Tom? So, here they are telling us that after two hours, we that maybe this one was covering the distance at 7 km per hour. After two hours, we that this distance is going to be the speed then time is time is 14. So mean that the right distance between the two Tom and Bob, the this one is that is 14. So there is a different speed. So after that, we that the time t from here up to here, if this is the meeting point or the catcher point, it's going to be the relative distance. We have seen that the distance between them is 14 over the relative speed. The speed they are using. This one is using 15, so 15 then minus this one was using 7, and this one is going to be now 14 over this one I think is going to be 8. And so the time of Kaja is going to be. Distance for catch up now, our D is very deep, the speed time is time. Now it means that the distance for reach this point is going to be Bobby's speed, then time is the time it took him to reach this point. So there it's going to be now our distance, we don't know the speed. Don't be Bobby is using the speed of 15, then time is the time 1.75, which is going to be now. Speed at which 
is moving, is moving, Tom is moving at 5 kilometers per hour, so 5 and is 1.6. And that is going to be now 8 kilometers. So it's going to meet him at 8 kilometers. Aha, uh -huh. then they say, if after Tom had caught up with Bob, he reduced his speed and arrived 0 0.3 hours later than if he had maintained 5 km per hour speed. How much did he reduce the speed? So he said, let the new speed. Okay. So part C. Now it means that in the time he used, the difference in the time would have been used is he telling us that the difference in time, if he had maintained the speed and then when he had reduced, is going to be 5, is going to be 0 0.35. So now, hours, it's going to be 0 0.35 hours. It means that now, the time when he had not reduced, so meaning, if they met at uh, 8, so first of all, the remaining distance, because they met here, so the remaining distance, remaining distance is going to be now the 12.5 minus where they meet 8, which is going to be 4.5, 4.5 euro meters. So that's where they meet. Meaning that now <laughs> this man. Now they want me to they want us to get the other the time we reduced after covering eight kilometers, we reduce the speed. Now we don't know that speed. Let the new speed be new speed B V. It means that now in this new speed is going to cover this new speed is going to be used to cover 4.5 kilometers. By now, because it's reducing it. It's going to be having now the time on the first part when it's still one when it's covering this distance is going to be 4.5 over b. Then time two when we are maintaining the speed, which is 4.5 over 5. That means that the difference between the two, the difference between the two is 0 0.5 hours. So if I'm right here, so that T1, the difference between the two, is going to be 0 0.35. So our T1 is 4.5, then minus over 5, 0 0.3. These are hours, that's why I'm not converting, it means they're already hours. So here, if I divide here, it's like minus 4. 0.5 over B minus, this is going to give us, I think, 1.5 and 0 0.9 will be going to be 0 0.35. If I take this side, you see 4.5 over B is going to be now 0 0.35, now plus 0 0.9. So that now my 4.5 is going to be B times. So my B now is going to be 4.5 divided by 1.25, which is going to be 3.6 kilometers. So our D, the new degree is 1.6 kilometers per an hour. That's the new velocity. So this is how much the heat is reduced by. Now, how much did he reduce? Now, this is the that is using. Now, how much did he speed? Now, when we want, we are going to say the distance by, the distance by, we are going to get the original speed, which is 5 minus 3.6, and this is giving us 1.4, 1.4 kilometers per hour. And then they asked us, for how long? Was him just before Bob joined him. Now Bob joined him. Of course, Bob Bob joined him. 
for how long now the time what time did he use now this is the time that he used it. first of all he want this time for how long was he in charge this v divided by now t so this t1 is going to be now 4.5 over b which is 3.6 so that time he covered is uh, This is 1.2. Okay, yes, 1.25. Now, if we are using this time t2, we see that it's going to be 4.5 over 5, which is 0 0.9. Now it means that for how long did he was in church? How many? How long was in church before Bob joined the game? It's the difference between these two. So now, how long have you? Because this is the time when they are not registered. Now this is the time when we are registered. So, it means that if this is the time, it was before the registered speed, we are going to subtract the two. So now the time is going to be, now, 1.25 minus, which is 0. 0.35 hours. So that's the members. I wish you the best. Okay, so remember all this there. I want us to get how long we will see in church before Bob joined the game. Now, before Bob joined the game, now this man, Tom, you know that Tom joined the game when he, you know that he was using, he a, 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 was covering three kilometers per hour, meaning that this time is going to be now. The 1.5, okay. The time for three point riding when Bob, so Bobby's time is going to be, it's going to be, the time is going to be 4.5, the remaining distance over the speed he was covering at, which is three kilometers per hour. And this is going to give us, I think, 1.5. So the difference between the two, so our today is going to be now 1.5 then minus 1.25 which is going to be I think 0 0.25 hours. So this man waited for a quarter an hour, 15 minutes, hours. So that's how long he had to wait.